Did the new Pat McGrath Utopian Dreams let you down as well? Yeah, me too. Hey, good looking. I'm Kendra Morgan Official and I put out content around single eyeshadows, makeup brushes that aren't Morphe, and sunscreen. So if you like that kind of content, make sure you subscribe down below to my channel. It's free, doesn't cost you anything, and you will have some awesome content delivered to you weekly on those topics. I took some of my Sydney Grace shadows and I put them together to make kind of a Pat McGrath, Mothership 89, whatever one there she's on, Utopian Dreams palette. And um, keeping in mind that my shadows are going to have a really cohesive color story, so they may not match 100% hue for hue, shade for shade, tone for tone. Um, some of Pat McGrath's shadows. Uh, the four over here are the Astral Blitz shades. And then the six shadows over here are kind of more of the um, shape, sculpt, define type of eyeshadows as what she puts in hers. But if you were looking to really amp up and sculpt and amplify the look with some of those Astral Blitz shades and you found those to be a letdown, stay tuned because I also have got four shades here from Davina that I'll share with you that I think will up the ante on the Pat McGrath Utopian Dreams palette, so stay tuned. Let's go ahead and get into some in-depth swatches, and then I'll also give you guys the skinny on the four shadows in case you want to pick those four up. But I did put together some Sydney Gray shadows. They're mostly duochromes, and they work really well together within the color story, so just keep that in mind. If you're wanting to shop the Christmas in July sale, then you might consider picking up some of these shadows, and I'll have them listed down below for you so that you can go through and just write your list out. Merry Christmas! <laughs> so let's go ahead and get started on swatching these shades and also making sure that you guys get an in-depth swatch here. I also add in those four shades at the very end so don't worry stay tuned and I'll show you guys some really really awesome bendy reflecty shifty shadowy and hugely textured shades from Davina that you can just run on over and purchase. And they cost, I think I added up the price, it was only like $37. The first shade is Immortal, and I found that um, kind of a pinky, lavender, shimmery shadow to be a really good fit for the Pat McGrath palette. Thought it was really shimmery the second shade is faithful again this is going to dupe the shade secret eden right now i only have six of the shades in the pat mcgrath palette named out this is just a really good solid workhorse it's a dusty mauve and i thought it was really beautiful i do have to build up this shade to get it to work properly but it's very very pretty Dark Chocolate is the shadow for Cosmic, or excuse me, Secret Eden. The previous shade before that, oh yes, okay, I'm sorry. I'm trying to get the swatches evened up according to how Pat McGrath has hers. And so now we'll go ahead and go into Faithful. So I do, the first two shades I actually don't have the names for as of today. And this is Secret Eden. And I use the shade Faithful by Sydney Grace for that. Okay, now we're back on track. I just now remembered. <laughs> You'll have to excuse me. I film my B-roll usually before I film my event, like my other video. So Golden Strawberry is used in place of the shade Cosmic Bloom. And it's a really, really shimmery, peachy, golden pink. Uh, it's not as bronze as what you would find in the Pat McGrath palette, but I thought that it fit really well with the other matte shadow. Then Bronze Desire, I used the shade Desert Sun. 
it's a an orange coppery bronze i don't know if i would go as far as to say it's a bronze but it's definitely a copper shadow so i thought that was really beautiful and that it went really well with the palette it's corresponding matte shadow i decided to go with french hens in the pat mcgrath palette she uses a nice vibrant peachy coral shadow but i looked on cindy grace's website and couldn't find any shadows like that so unfortunately i don't have any comps for you again like i've said in the past cindy grace is really well known for her subdued um wearable shadows is what i would call them okay so this is going to be duping the shade bronze solaris and it's called aztec ruins it's even more orange and it's almost trending towards that yellow undertone but it's really beautiful and it's nice to work with really accentuates blue eyes i did have to build it up just a little bit that swatch didn't quite go far enough for us but it's highly lustrous then i'm using the shade ooh, oh what happened there mermaid <laughs> mermaid is the shade it's actually a duochrome and it's kind of the duochrome shifts to a blue but you'll see i try to build up the swatch here in a couple seconds to get a shade that would show the shift but unfortunately i can't really do that so i'm going to go ahead and bring in the shadow here see if i can't get it to show off that it's kind of a lavender blue shift it's extremely subtle but if you kind of you know take down the lighting and make it low lighting you can kind of see it and then spring fling is going to be the last shade in or the last shadow in the first row i don't have the shade name in the pat mcgrath palette that it's duping for the utopian palette but this is also a duochrome it's kind of that icy lavender and it has like a soft blue sheen to it i think it looks really pretty with the palette and this kind of brings out the rainbow vibes a little bit because it's able to give you that blue and green on top winter garden is also a nice duochrome and it is kind of a mauvey a mauve purple and it has a nice strong blue shift over the top of it and you can see that here but i'm giving you that big juicy swatch trying to really coat it on there thick so you guys can see the rich pigments but yeah, I would definitely say that's like a purple with a strong blue, blue to indigo shift. And now let's go ahead and get into the four shadows that I found from Davina. Cygnus is a, I believe it's a multi-chrome actually, but it's a shifting from red to green to gold. And it is only $8 on Davina's website. So I have a lot of money here to play around with. With a $125 palette, you really can get a lot of indie brand eyeshadows i'm building up the swatch and i'm also trying to show it in the bend of my hand so you guys can see that green and that gold shift it looks like that cranberry is showing up really well and the gold showed up really well this is australis and it is in place of the blitz extreme this is the multi-chrome you can really see it here strong pink fuchsia shifting green with gold shifts as well i'm going to go ahead and swatch that for you hopefully we can get kind of a a decent look at the shiftiness yeah you can definitely see it right there it's really beautiful actually both of those are multi-chromes i believe so you would be happy with either or or both of them in your collection i feel like but this is this shadow is 13 dollars on its own then i use the shadow runts it's a i believe it's a multi-chrome as well but it's an iridescent formula and it shifts from a purple to pink and then there's also a silver shift in that as well it is so beautiful it's one of its kind I was so excited to be able to have the opportunity to put this shadow in my palette just because it is so unique. So that's really nice. You can see that silver shift as I kind of blend it out there a little bit. And then the pink and the purple. Not quite as strong of a multi-chrome, but definitely still shifting there and still very, very, very beautiful on the eyes. 
Skyla. Oh my goodness. One of my favorite Davina shadows. I've used this like six or seven times already. I think it's a duochrome. It's purple, um, strong blue indigo shift over the top. It's a little bit on the chunky side, so it's giving us lots of texture for you guys who, so for my folks who really love that texture, you'll get that here in this shadow as well. You can see I'm just building up the swatch. It's really, the mica flicks in this one are a lot larger, so I like to use more of the shadow. But you can see it's a cranberry purple with a nice, beautiful blue, violet, indigo shift. Those are the shadows that I picked out. So I have a Sydney Grace comp palette that you guys can go ahead and check the D bar down below for all the shade names. And then if you are wanting to amp up, one up the competition, you wanna get crazy texture, a lot of shifting, and a lot of beautiful sheen, shine, shiftiness, duochrome vibes, then head on over to Davina's website and you can pick up those four shadows. And I think I added up the cost, so there's three times eight would be 32, or excuse me, 24, $36 total you're still coming out well under the cost of the palette. So let's go ahead and break down a little bit of the money here. If you bought the Sydney Grace package during the Christmas in July sale and got say 25% off of these shadows, then you're looking at a palette that went coming down from 50 to $60. I think it's around $60. So you're gonna be able to take off about $15 and you'll get a singles bundle for 40, $45 range. So a really great option if you are not in the market to purchase the Pat McGrath palette. Now, if you are all about the packaging, go on, help yourself. Just head on over there and purchase the palette. But I will say that a lot of a lot of my community have noticed that the palette is very, very similar to the Divine Rose and the Divine Rose 2. So if you already own those palettes, this may be repetitive, it may be redundant, it may not be something that you really need in your collection, which is very difficult for Pat McGrath lovers. I, I can see it, like if I start collecting eyeshadow palettes, I want them to all look different, but unfortunately, that's just not how sometimes things work out for us. But if you are, if you're wanting the packaging and you wanna spend that $100 on packaging and then $25 on shades, by all means, go right ahead, you won't, upset me at all just go on spend the money <laughs> but if you're here to find um, comparable shadows from Sydney Grace that would be great together then I hope that these shadows that I put together for you are an awesome fit and if you're finding value in this content make sure you subscribe to the channel down below I do want to go ahead and put up my swatches next to Pat McGrath that's why I had a little a little, a little slip up there because I had to recalculate how mother pat did her swatches and make sure that mine lined up with hers but you can take a look right here so that's with the sydney grace i do add in the other shadows but they're on the back of my hand so you can't really see them but with dual chromes and multi chromes almost always it's very very difficult to find a formula that really matches up find a um the shifting that really just you know matches up exactly so if pat mcgrath's formula is what really truly speaks to you then by all means you're probably going to want to pick that up but if you're okay with a little bit of the same shiftiness some of those indie vibes some of those standout shades like what i got on today this is Skyla over the top of my Cindy Grace comp palette and it just the shadows just blow some of those more mainstream brands out of the way and I kind of look I know Pat McGrath is independently owned they aren't under any other brand but I will say they when she when she designs her palettes, you can tell she's definitely designing them for a more sophisticated audience, a more, you know, okay, I'll spend the $125 because I can use this palette every single day. And we see it over and over and over again from the Divine Rose collection now to this Mothership palette collection. We see that. We see exactly why she's doing what she's doing. Even though she says that she put the rainbow vibes in there, she really didn't because we all know if she did that, she would lose a lot of her customer base just because 
they like what they like. They like the Pat McGrath formula and they want to keep the shadows basically the same neutrals with maybe a pop of color here and there, which is, comes out in her Astral Blitz shades. So um, yeah, those are two accessorized to amplify, but if you are finding that the Sydney Grace shadows are nice, but not exactly what you want, you could always pick up those six shadows during the Christmas in July sale. And then you could also head on over to Davina and pick up some four, you know, shifty textured shades that will really blow your mind away and I don't think you'll be disappointed Davina Davina cosmetic really takes takes it um, the prize home with those shadows so thanks so much for watching guys I hope you all enjoyed this and I hope this inspires you to check out your collection maybe find some dupe shadows in your collection that you would really like to add in and let me know in the comments down below what shadows you picked out for your Pat McGrath dupe if you're needing to dupe or put together a comp palette um, for your next palette. Thanks so much for watching guys. Can't wait to see you in my next video.